Hey guys, it's Adam AK at Dari Bros here again with another exciting brass video. Today we are looking at one of the rarest and most desired diesel locomotives ever manufactured. This is the Ford 132 ton switcher built by General Electric in 1939. This model was imported only ever once by Overland in 2002, I believe. They made a 100, uh, actually 99 to be exact, of the Ford 132-ton switchers. They're one of the most desired diesels ever create, made, um, and uh, they truly are beautiful. They have a beautiful paint scheme. Uh, let's get into some of the information about this model itself. This piece was imported by Overland and built by Ajin. This features a can motor and uh, brass uh, specific type gearing. So the gearing itself is not brass, it's just the way it's done. There's a drive shaft between each wheel, that way it's more prototypical, one and two. Um, they, it operates extremely smoothly. One of the cool things about this model is it has a 1939 Ford grille on the front, uh, or at least a much larger version of that grille. Mine is weathered a little bit, very lightly, um, just to give it the effect of use. The cab is fully detailed with gauge clusters, cab seats uh, on both sides. These end the famous Ford logo embossed on the side is a very, very, very small piece of chrome. All the handrails are also chromed, which is why this model stands out so well and it's just beautiful in my opinion. One of the coolest parts about this locomotive that you don't see on any other locomotives is the hoods. The hoods actually open up revealing a engine compartment right there. Extremely cool detail and um, just really neat. You can see the fan right here as well and there is a fan in there. This is a really just a cool piece. You don't see anything like it. One thing to also note is the sprung trucks are truly sprung and really look great. This model is a pretty simple design. It's definitely something that could be potentially scratch built. Um, uh, it's a really, really just a neat locomotive um, and uh, just something that I, this was my number one want in brass at one time and it took me a really long time to find it. Uh, but uh, anyway, since that's really all I need to talk about, I think I covered all the bases. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how this thing runs. And you can see it runs extremely smooth. juice, give it some speed, nice and quiet, once again another Ajin model. Ajin was best known for building diesels and they still do in fact. Uh, unfortunately Overland I do not believe will ever make a model again but if they do they have a great builder. This model again is one of the most desired, definitely a model that I looked for for a long time and definitely something a lot of people um, really think is cool and uh, just a very neat model. 